Thank you for choosing Dobeck Performance. In this video, we will look at air fuel ratios and their characteristics to help us determine which AFR values to target when tuning an engine. Information in this video has been taken from Jeff Hartman's book, How to Tune and Modify Engine Management Systems. Dobeck Performance would like to thank Jeff for letting us use his book. It is packed with useful information and is available for purchase online. What is an air fuel ratio? An AFR is the mass ratio of air to fuel in an internal combustion engine. Choosing the right AFR values will change the performance characteristics of your engine. Three terms are used to describe the AFR an engine is running. Lean, rich, and stoic. The chemically idle air fuel mixture by mass in which all air and gasoline are consumed is referred to by chemists as stoichiometric or stoic. A stoic AFR occurs with 14.64 parts of air to one part fuel. Any AFR with a greater percentage of air is considered a lean condition, 14.7 AFR and up. And any AFR with a larger percentage of fuel is considered a rich condition, 14.6 and lower. Here are some other tips when choosing an ideal AFR. Optimal air fuel ratios of an engine are based off temperature, RPM, and load. And remember, optimal AFR values will vary with each engine application. Cold engines require enrichment to counteract the fact that only a small fraction of fuel will vaporize at colder temperatures, and the rest exists as globules or drops that are not mixed well with air and will be wasted. This is why you let your engine warm up before any fuel tuning adjustments are made to your vehicle. Now let's take a look at some AFR values and their characteristics in four-stroke engines. Here is a list of AFR values and their characteristics found in How to Tune and Modify Engine Management Systems. Avoid AFR values richer than 6 AFR, as this is the rich burn limit. Also avoid AFR values leaner than 18 AFR, as this is the lean burn limit. If you are looking for performance in your engine application, target values in this AFR range. If you are looking for fuel economy in your engine application, target values in this AFR range. Remember, when choosing an AFR value to target, a rich AFR value will give you more power and a lean AFR value will give you better fuel economy. It is up to the rider to determine the AFR value to target based on their riding style and preference. Now that we have a better idea of which AFR values to target, let's take a look at side effects of lean and rich conditions. Lean conditions can have the following potential side effects. Hotter engine temperatures, detonation or pinging, and hesitation in the throttle response. If you're experiencing any of these lean side effects, try targeting a richer AFR value. Rich conditions can have the following potential side effects. Engine flooding, D-cell pop or backfiring, lethargic throttle response, excess carbon buildup, or fuel smell from the exhaust. If you're experiencing any of these rich side effects, try targeting a leaner AFR value. If you would like to learn more about AFR values, fuel tuning, and fuel injection systems, Check out Jeff Hartman's book, How to Tune and Modify Engine Management Systems. If you have any questions that were not covered in this tutorial, you can call us at 1-877-764-3337, and we will be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you for choosing Dobeck Performance.